school holidays to experience the Trumpet Flowers Interactive Sculpture. Visit pacificfair.com.au. CFM News Briefing. Good morning, I'm Celeste with you. Celebrations roll on in Brisbane as both the Lions and Broncos head into their respective grand finals. It'll be a bit of ticket mayhem today as AFL fans attempt to secure a seat. NRL supporters get their chance from 10am tomorrow. Support for The Voice continues to fall a week out from pre-polling. The latest News Corp survey suggests only 38% will vote yes. New South Wales is the only state where there's been a rise with support growing to 42%. A new skills passport could be on the way. The platform will be able to keep track of job qualifications and share them with potential employers. It will act similar to the Medicare app. Speaking to Nine, Treasurer Jim Chalmers has defended the $9 million to be spent on it. It's all about instilling a culture of lifelong learning, making it easier for people to move around and grab those job opportunities. The AFP has returned $45 million to Aussie businesses targeted by hackers in the past three years. On average, a business loses 64 grand per scam. Perth woman Ella Cutler is home and stable in hospital. The 26-year-old police officer slipped and fell 10 metres while on holiday in Croatia. Unless drastic action is taken now, climate targets won't be met by 2030. That's the warning from Penny Wong. The foreign minister is pushing for Australia to have a seat on the UN Security Council. And the Hollywood writers' strike may be nearing the end. They have entered the final stages of negotiations, signalling all major issues have been resolved. Awaken your senses. The all new MG5. Warriors head home with their heads held high after their September campaign came to a crushing end. Sean Johnson says the Broncos were just too strong and it's a warning shot for Penrith for what's to come next Sunday. After so many narrow finals defeats, Brisbane are through to their first AFL Grand Final since 2004, emerging victorious over Carlton by 16 points. And the Wallabies take on Wales tomorrow morning in a must-win clash. Cloudy today on the Gold Coast. 23 is the top, partly cloudy and 24 degrees tomorrow, sunny on Tuesday and 25. Exposing the history that haunts hundreds of thousands of Aussies, The Secrets We Keep, Shame Lies and Family Podcast is out now on the Listener app.